Hey guys, it's Egypt Emerald here and welcome to my first ever Planet Zoo video. I am so, so excited. I honestly can't wait. I don't know what is it's going to be like, um, so let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm, I've done a little test recording before this so hopefully the sound will be okay. I've like fiddled with it a bit. Um, so we will see what happens. But yes, here is my avatar. But anyway, so I have been working my way through the careers um, for fun because I kind of want to do that myself. So I will keep doing that. Um, I might do a challenge one or start a franchise on my channel at some point. But I think, I mean, I don't know what the challenge ones are. But I think what I might do for now is just do a sandbox one for this first one or for the first few parts we'll probably just do a sandbox zoo because then we have no restrictions we can kind of explore everything i think i'm gonna do that because build your zoos offline with full economy and challenges yeah because i don't really know i don't know i might do a challenge one at some point but i've only ever really played around with the career mode and the franchise mode before i've not done challenge or sandbox mode so we'll see but i'm gonna go with sandbox mode for now Okay, so I've actually given up on grassland and I've tried a temperate zoo, um, also in Europe, because I had a look and all of the grassland zoos look the same, wherever they are, and I kind of prefer this because it's sort of, I don't know, sort of more what I wanted to do. So we will go with this. So here's the entrance, and I'm going to straight away, how do I do it? Oh, can I not? I thought that was my zoo entrance. Is it? Here we go. Um, I'm straight away going to put adults up to four. Um, I think that's in dollars, but I'm just going to go with pounds because that's what I say. So we will go with four pounds for adults and three pounds for children, and we're not going to open that late. There we go. Okay. So um, we have unlimited funds and unlimited conservation credits, which is pretty good. So this should hopefully go okay i'm gonna oh so i'm basically gonna try and make the zoo look as good as we can make it look because i want it to look nice so i think what we might do when they come in is we'll have some toilets because like you never know someone's gonna need it someone is bound to need the toilet when they first um arrive so we've got all this stuff right uh, guest facilities so we could oh so I can even do like my own zoo entrance that is cool even though obviously it's there anyway so they have like all these little shells and things that you can then place stuff in or you can like yeah because then you can place all these different things inside the shells and then they don't look as like empty and stuff because I'm not a good enough builder to do other things yet so that's an Asian one that's an African classic oh we might go with classic oh yes that's like British kind of um, brick and all that so we're gonna go with a large toilet at the entrance because we don't want I'm gonna put that about there now I'm just gonna let you guys know my building is not great I am pretty rubbish at building whether it's Sims or Planet Zoo I am not the best at building at all so I'm just gonna let you guys know that so that you do know because honestly my building is so bad right we're going to do width of six so that our path is a bit um, wider I think we're gonna do this gravel path because I quite like the look of it so um, I'm gonna have little oh Andy. there we go that sort of looks a bit weird, but that's fine. We'll go with it. And then that can continue. Okay, we'll just like leave it there for now. So, we have got toilets now, which is amazing. We are also, I think, going to get the information centre over here because we don't want there to be um, nothing 
no information centers or anything we're also going to have an atm because you never know when people are going to want to get some money out they might have forgotten before they arrive so we've got this one with the pointy roof or this one with the slightly less pointy roof i think we'll go with this one it's slightly cheaper as well so if we place this about here we can get um actually if we put it further back then we can get one of them q um paths i haven't used one of them yet so i don't know how they really work but what does it say about them it, it doesn't okay oh unless it's like meant for other i don't Oh, there's like a ride. Oh, it's for like rides and stuff. Okay, oops. Sorry, woman. Bye. <laughs> let's, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Now I know what they're for. That's like not too bad. Can we not? Oh, we haven't placed a shop in there yet. So that's... Oh. I'm still getting used to all the controls as well. I have no clue what I'm doing, really. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's put one of them things in. I'm going to pause it because we haven't actually done much yet. So, we want... Oh, I have also unlocked some things. I, I don't know if I've just... Oh, no, I think they're just, like, there because I'm kind of allowed to have everything. I don't know. Um, zoo entrance. Guest spawner. I don't know what that is. Toilets. Okay. Merchandise. No. What's that one? That's gift hats for nothing, just the memento, loony blooms, whatever that is. Merchandise shop. Oh, there's a new world small shop. Oh, I quite like the look of this one, actually. But no, we'll go with this and I'll see. Anyway, I'm, I don't even know if we're going to get to animals in this part. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying. Okay, let's go for the information centre and see if we can place it in here i'm see i have got hold of the um placing uh moving stuff no why can you not i want to put you in here i want to put you in here in here in here oh my goodness i'm probably doing something wrong but like i really don't know what we're... so i can literally put steps up to it but i can't put it in here can I put that on over the top of it? I don't know. I'm going to shove it there. And I'm just going to see. If I can. Ah, so I can like move the star. That's quite cool. I can actually like move all the stuff. There we go that i mean that doesn't look awful i can sort of i don't know if i put that the right way around me that one no i must have because that's how it like went on and stuff i don't know i don't know we'll go with it and we'll see what happens <laughs> there we go yay it did work okay that is amazing we've got our information center we are also near the entrance going to have gulpy soda i think because yeah we're gonna have gulpy soda and i don't know what's going on with any of this okay can i duplicate this okay well i've done that um which looks a bit better i think um so we've got them and i will eventually possibly do another one like they look slightly different to that one but that's fine oh well i i will leave that i've got these sorted out now we're gonna get some exhibit um animals because they aren't that expensive oh wow oh we can have like a large exhibit that's so or a medium one we'll go for a medium oh i don't know why it's suddenly gone to that but okay um yeah so we'll go we'll have an exhibit here right near the entrance um and let's get a path so that 
people can see. We are, we're gonna have some really weirdly shaped paths, so I'm just gonna get that out there to you guys. Like, I am not good at drawing the paths on, like, at all. They are so, so bad. So, I've got that. I'm gonna put the star facilities, I'm gonna set them back over here and hopefully hide them behind this, like, absolutely humongous tree. I'm going to move, move the humongous tree there. Um, and a caretaker for now and a vet. There we go. We'll hire some more in a minute. This is... So, I know that this is so bad, guys. I am... <laughs> oh my gosh. This is such a bad thing. But I'm trying my best. So, you know. That's all I can do. Right. Classic. Here we go. We're, in, we're doing with the classic theme. Classic. Um, what do we need? Trade center. Trade center. Let's... Classic trade center. We're going to shove that over here i mean that's the one that's not as awful i don't think for them to see maybe i don't know put that there and then we can uh, have the path have the staff path leading to it but i'm also going to get another one of these trees and just put it like here and then we can do the path around it i think that's what we're going to do so staff path i'm going to pause it because they are probably not going to be happy with me um We'll do the staff path from like here and then kind of go around the tree. There we go, we've got a trade centre. It is quite well hidden. I mean, I can't even really see it that well unless I go around here. So I think we're doing okay, sort of. So yes, there is our trade centre. We are going to get some animals. Why have we now got loads of staff room? Oh yeah, we're going to get, let's get a staff room facilities they have now got a staff center we also need all this other stuff but that's fine for now we've got our staff center which looks pretty cool i think we can look inside it yeah we can that looks pretty cool so yeah nice right hopefully them trees covering stuff is good enough anyway let's start with going some exhibit animals because we don't have enough. I am obviously going to be avoiding any spiders because I cannot stand spiders. So we're going to just be scrolling past any spiders and getting other things. We're going to get some of these. Now these, from my experience in my past two, breed really quickly. So I'm just gonna get two of them because a one boy, one girl, they just breed so fast. And then we'll get some of these guys as well. And we'll go for the giant tiger land snail. Because I think that's pretty cool. And then we'll go for a goliath frog as well. In fact, we'll go for two of them because there's two of them on there. There we go. We've got a whole bunch of animals. Um, exhibit animals don't need to be quarantined. But what I have started doing is I have started quarantining. Oh, I've just realised we've only got two exhibit things. And I've just bought four lots of animals. We'll get some more. I'll put another exhibit thing over there. Right, request exhibit animal. Let's put these guys in there. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Done. And I will sort there. Uh, yeah, they are low welfare, I know. Oh, do I just need to research all their stuff? Probably. So they need um, their temperature up a little bit. Doing the tutorials is definitely, like, I would definitely recommend that because, oh, we're actually getting guests now, um, because they have really helped me. I actually sort of know what I'm doing because of the tutorials, so, yeah, I would definitely say do the tutorials if you're going to get this game because otherwise it's so confusing. And play, having played the beta as well, I think that helps a lot. Go to 81. There we go. So they're in a better mood now. Oh no, so we don't need to research them. We've kind of got everything. Okay. We'll go with tropical plant B and leaf litter A and Mr. B, whatever that is. Go with that and then they've got 100% on that. So all they need is, they like to have quite a few adults actually, but like I said, they breed really quick. So they should be all right so yeah they like to have more adults but yeah if they start breeding can they breed 
I don't know. I need to name their exhi the exhibits. Um, so this one. Exhibit six needs to be go poison flower. Because if I don't name them, I get so confused. Right, let's get some more animals in here. Let's get uh, you know what, let's go for the Goliath frogs. Let's move them into there. Okay. So we've got two lots of animals now, so guests should hopefully be happy about that. Let's set up. We don't have any power, so I don't know how well that will work. Oh no, it works anyway. Okay, well, good. Goliath frogs. There we go. So we've got them. Uh, we don't have any donation boxes yet, though, so we need to get some donation boxes. Need higher temperature. Yep good happy with that he's fine and then these guys i'm going to move into here perfect now we just need some actual animals i think what i might do is just buy some animals first and then we'll make a cage for them because if i haven't like bought them stuff first i bought the animals first then i won't really know what animals i'm going to be having so, and then it will make it more difficult to do stuff. No, why have I got protesters? I'm fixing stuff. Let's get another one then. Have a spare one. Um, we also get a mechanic because we don't have one yet. And we'll get a security guard. And then we've got one of everything, which is perfect. Okay. So... So she's decided to work in Gulpy Soda. So let's let them have some ice if they want some ice. Okay, so I mean, I have seen I have seen such better zoos than this. This is all this is honestly the worst zoo layout I've ever seen in my life. But you know, we're trying. We are trying. Right. The first thing I'm going to get is I'm definitely going to get a tiger because tigers are my favourite animals ever so i am going to get a tiger i'm just going to so i'm going to buy this one wow she's expensive maybe not that one um this one has better fertility so we'll buy her and his listing has expired so we'll buy oh so we'll buy him instead okay so we've got one of each gender now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put them into quarantine once i've got a quarantine because we ideally need them to be quarantined so that um, they don't get any illnesses or things like that. So, this snow is not making it easy though. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful, but it's not um, the best. Anyway, I realise like, this is probably going to be like a weird part, first part, because like I've not done the best with um, any of my building at all. It is pretty rubbish. But you know, oh my goodness, what is that? Like, what is that? Honestly, there we go. That looks better. Seriously, what on earth have I been building? It is so awful. We got all these random <laughs> cross bit. Okay, there we go. I'm trying my best. We've got all the buildings that we need, um, but we've got no power. So that's something else that I need to do. So I'll 
shove that um, there I think if I move this tree back a little bit then we've got a bit more space to play with um, and then I can get some power so we're going to get a transformer there okay. so I will get some a water treatment thing as well in a minute um, but there's no point getting a water oh the snow stopped that's weird um, there's no point getting a water treatment thing until I've built the tiger's cage because um, or habitat I should probably go with so where are my tigers let's move them into quarantine there we go and I'm going to start building their habitat and once I have built their habitat I'll probably end this video because I don't want it to be too long That's what we're gonna do for now. And have they passed their quarantine? Yay, quarantine passed. So we're gonna move them both into their new habitat, which we are going to call Bengal. Oh, can't type today. Bengal tigers. Okay, so it is the Bengal tigers habitat. So I'm going to just get make a start. Um...
Okay, I am going to end this part here. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you when I record the next part. Bye!